think we're good. Let's go ahead and start. We're gonna get the true pacifist ending. Hey, Steven! Welcome. Literally just starting. Ooh, don't wanna restart. Continue. Okay. So, I am on a mission to go to Undyne's house. Hold on. Okay, sorry. That looked all messed up in the corner of my eye. I had to fix it. Okay. Um... I know that that's not Grillby, but I love Grillby's concept of Grillby's. It's a man with a flame for a head. Okay, let's go talk to Undyne! Hey, I have something to give you, but you're carrying way too much! Oh, whoops. I am? Oh. Oh, oh, I haven't actually fought um, Asgore yet. Technically. Get rid of the junk food. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I... I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alphys. Oh no, is it her admitting her gay feelings for Dr. Alphys? Finally? Good, I'm glad everything looks good. Thank you for telling me. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um... Well... It's kind of personal, but we're friends. So... I'll tell you. Oh my god. Is she gonna tell me how gay she is right now? You guys can probably see my messy room a little bit behind me. Oh well. Hotland sucks! I don't wanna have to go over there! So, here you go. You got the Undyne's letter. The Undyne's letter. Cause she's the owl. <laughs> the Undyne. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much! You're the best! Okay. Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you. Because you have no standards. Thanks. Thanks, Papyrus. I'm glad we're buddies here. Yeah, I do have a lot of junk food. Tra-la-la, -la, care for a ride. Yes, take me to Hotland. Hotland! Then we're off. I don't understand this river man, but he's awesome for some reason. Uh, that's it, just ah. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, that was a tantalizing conversation. Come again sometime, tra la la. Okay. Okay, Alphys, better answer the door. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? Yeah, slide. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Read note. Oh, I'm supposed to read the note? Oops, too late. Oh, oh no. Is this, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can't I just slide it back out? Mm, no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. I guess I should have read it. Whoops! Too late now. Hey, if this is a joke, ish. Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't shine, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, that's adorable. And I, I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. Uh, it's surprising to after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. All the gross stuff she did. Is she talking about the whole Metaton thing? Oh. Much this, um, this? And so passionately, too. 
Um, I have a feeling I wouldn't have been able to read the letter because it sounds like it was sealed too tight, so... I don't know. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Yeah, it was her confessing her gay love for the dinosaur. This is not what I was expecting. Dating start. Okay. Uh, sorry. I still getting dressed. Oh no, that's super adorable. Oh. I love Alphys. Sorry, that made me really happy. I actually have an Undertale screensaver now on my computer, and Alphys is in a dress, and I think it's that dress. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great chance of them. Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating. Start. Hey, wait. Actually, uh, we still can't start to date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, so don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been given stockpiles of gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got uh, some metal armor polish. I think that's for Metaton. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Um, oh yeah, this is all for Undyne, never mind, not Metaton. Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. <laughs> Dating start! <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting closer. down in my chair so I fit in the screen okay because I'm too lazy to move my webcam yeah let's uh let's date I don't think either of us knows how to date unfortunately oh man I messed it up I messed this up sorry give me one second give me one second I fucked up I adjusted something that shouldn't have been adjusted no don't do that Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there, sorry. Uh, do you like anime? Yes. Hey, hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage jump. Oh my god, didn't she post a picture earlier of a piece of trash and then she was like, it's me? This is why I'm Alphys. My ears tingle now. Ooh. I bet I could, I bet I could turn Undertale up just a smidge. Okay. Here we are. This is where Undine and I, Undine and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Uh, she's really, uh. Oh no. This sounds like the Macarena song. Sorry, 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 okay. I'm trying to find a happy medium. Oh no. Uh, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Uh, because, uh, well, oh no, here she comes. Oh god. Hey, there you are. Oh look, she got dressed up for her date with Alphys. I'm gonna cry at how gay they are. Oh. What a dump. I'll say. I, uh, realized if you ever delivered that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Ugh! Have you at least seen her? Um, yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. 
Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm so sorry. I just figured, you know, uh, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. And I'm the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. Uh, but I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you are, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll, she'll find out the truth about me. What, that you're an anime nerd? I think she is too. Come on, Alphys. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They should be your shelf. But I don't really like who my shelf is. That's really sad. Elf is, oh no, I just want to hug the gay dinosaur now. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> um. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? <laughs> well, let's see what my options are here. Uh, let's roleplay it. Roleplay? That actually kind of sounds kind of fun. <laughs> okay, which one of us will be undone? I'll be undying. Let's make this the most awkward rom-com moment ever. Oh, right. Obviously. Damn. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? You're cute. Thanks. Uh, you say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say, but I know you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. <laughs> um, uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. Then she kisses you! What? Undyne would never, uh... I kiss her back? Softly? <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> Are you saying bruh to the roleplay or bruh to the whole situation? Because I feel the same either way, I think. I, I look in gently into her eyes. I start hollering. Undyne, I love you. Undyne, kiss me again, Undyne. <laughs> <laughs> I came in at a weird time. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh my god. This is like Hatsuful Boyfriend all over again. What did you say? Uh, Undead, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Um, wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes! Oh, Undyne looks like she's about to murder me with a spear. I mean, uh, no! I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was black, and I really just, I just like to make ice cream, and those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books, and the history movies, those, uh, those are just, uh, anime 
They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. That time I Alphys. Uh, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted to, you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Shh. Did she just supl- What just happened? Alphys! I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Oh god. And Dad, you... You're gonna train me? <laughs> me? Oh my... <laughs> Just coming to the street. I'm sorry. This is so entertaining. <laughs> fucking, fucking papyrus in the background is killing me. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get myself together. Oh, this is the best. This is the best stream ever. I'm pretty sure right now. Nah, I'm gonna get papyrus to do it. Jogology. Get those bones shaking. It's time to jog 100 laps and hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Unjan. I'll do my best. This one. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons? Those comics? Those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Undyne's losing her shit. This is too much. Yeah. Nobody loves himself more than Pappy. True statement. I also love Pappy. Not as much as Pappy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, anime is real. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Oh my god, that was... Why am I back here? Wait! Oh, because this is the trash dumps. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination! I am so glad that everything that just happened, happened. You don't like Undertale? What's wrong with you? It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. But now I know. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Knees, weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on a sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. East is the hotland. Somewhere is Temi Village. I found Temi Village. Don't you worry about it. Oh yeah, I'll just take him to Hotland. Tra la la, care for a ride. Then we're off. <laughs> 
Tra la la, the water is very dry today. Oh, well, yesterday it was very wet, so, um, apparently the water does have different levels of wetness. I was about to make a really dirty joke and I stopped myself. Oh my god, bacon wrap scallops. Why are we talking about bacon wrap things? Stop it, chat. I save a lot because I get paranoid. Oh, hi. The door opened. Alphys! Come out, come out, wherever you are. It's a beat-up figurine of a female human with cat ears. Okay, what is this? That door opened! Oh! Oh, the door's open! That didn't happen last time. It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Yes. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. Um, but as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear, this isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. Okay, so I did notice the Alphys kept saying like thing, weird things about like, stuff that I did, and hi, Hannah! So I just got distracted. Hi, Hannah! Welcome! Okay, wait, what are you guys talking about? Bacon? Bacon wrapped fried chicken, bacon wrapped pizza, bacon wrapped determination. Bacon wrapped everything. That's how the world is. But anyways, I know she kept talking about, like, how she done bad things, and I feel like I heard something about another scientist before her, but I don't know what's up with that, and I'm- because, like, it was really random mention. I, I like I don't even remember what part that was on because it was so random but like I, I've always I, I just didn't like latch on to it until now so I don't know it's I'm very curious about what Alphys did that she thinks is so bad warning warning elevator losing power oh my god it's my nightmare M tether stability lost oh Amy good news tell me tell me the good news You have steam! Welcome to steam! I also have steam. I'm using it right now. And a laptop. Ooh, we're getting fancy. Here, let me see. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Is this Alphys or is this somebody else writing this? I'm not actually sure. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. This sounds like some sketchy ass shit going on here. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would, re would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Where is this going? I'm trying to figure out where this arc is going. I thought this was supposed to be happy, true pacifist ending. The ending of the game in the happy way. I used to have a fear of elevators, never wanted to ride in one alone because I always figured if I were fated to die, fate wouldn't take the other people down with me. <laughs> I feel that, don't worry. I um, also used to have an extreme fear of elevators. Hello, Smarshmallow! Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I don't know where this is going. 
I really... I'm gonna go ahead and save. True, la true laboratory. It's a, it's a fake plant. Buy chips for... No. My pockets are full anyways. Oh, wait. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Elevator lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you can read. Power room. There is feels. More feels? I didn't sign up for this. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still chaos, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? Sorry, I'm turning the music down in my headphones. By the way, guys, if the volume is not good, just tell me and I will fix it immediately. Don't worry. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Oh, sorry, Hunter. I was not reading things. Very interested in this story. Beginning. Don't starve in town of Salem. Good games. I love those. Entry A number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get to the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. operating table. It's sticky. Dude, this is dark. This is kind of dark. Back to bacon wrap determination. Yeah, that would be better than this. Turn on the sink. I'm wasting water. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Drain, dropped it. That's all you could read. Some kind of switch. There's a red colored slot in the center. Ooh, Terraria. I have not played that. So... Okay. Turn on the sink. Oh, there we go. What? The fuck? It doesn't even have a name! This is creepy! Take out your cell phone, you can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun? I'm good! Thanks, though! Thanks for the invite, though! But nobody came. Memory head. What happens if I join? You'll be with us shortly. Not expecting this. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. 